What's up investors, my name is Artem Dickerf and in a couple of minutes you'll know what is intrinsic value. And if you want to learn personal finances and watching, watching such short videos, please consider liking this video and subscribing to my channel so you won't lose it. From Russia with love, I say thank you comrade. Alright, so intrinsic value is the real value of an asset's worth. And if you're not sure what asset means, feel free to watch one of my previous videos. And here is an example. Real value is almost the synonym for intrinsic value. And since we are investing in personal finance related YouTube channel, let's apply the definition of intrinsic value to stocks. So the price of any stock that you see at this very moment is called market price or current price. Let's say at this very moment Apple shares are priced at $132. This is its current price, but its intrinsic value might and most likely will be different. And in order to find the intrinsic value of any stock, investment analysts can use complex financial models such as for example DCF model which stands for discounted cash flow. DCF model and its calculation is the separate topic for another video and do not worry I will make this video in the nearest future. But long story short, this calculation allows to see how much a stock should cost taking into consideration all the other fundamental and mathematical factors. And as mentioned previously, the intrinsic value of any stock is almost always different from current share price. So let's get back to our Apple example. At this very moment its share price is $132, but after applying DCF model, let's say so, we found the intrinsic value of Apple to be $80. It means that at this very moment Apple shares are overvalued. Simple as that. The purpose of looking for intrinsic value is simply to estimate whether a stock is over or undervalued. If intrinsic value is lower than current share prices, it means that this company is overvalued. And the opposite is true. If the intrinsic value is higher than current share price, it means that this company is undervalued, meaning that there is a potential room for growth. Calculating intrinsic value alone is not enough to tell whether a company is a good potential investment. Many other fundamental micro and macroeconomic factors must be taken into consideration before making final decision. But one of the good things of knowing the intrinsic value is that it allows you to find good entry and exit points as well as set up your own target prices. The discounted cash flow model which is used to find the intrinsic value of a stock can be interpreted differently by various investors. Some emphasize the revenue growth as the main factor while others focus on the company's management. And for this reason the intrinsic value calculation is always just an estimate. Feel free to leave a comment if you have any questions left. Check my other videos to see if there's anything else interesting for you. Thank you so much comrades.